Well, a push is underway by some Playford residents to jump ship to Salisbury Council area with the lure of cheaper rates. Some streets in Adelaide's northern suburbs have a council boundary right down the middle, meaning neighbours across the street are paying hundreds of dollars a year less. Pam Cottles lived in Elizabeth South since 1965 and as a pensioner she keeps a close eye on her bills, especially council rates which jumped $60 this year. Just have you been emptied? Yeah. <laughs> Mrs Cottle pays $1,310 to Playford Council and she's aware if she lived on the other side of Porter Street in Salisbury Council, her rates would be $250 a year less. Unfortunately there's nothing we can do about that. The council do what they want to do and we don't have any say in it. It's a, a, a very big difference, so yeah, I'm completely shocked actually. Playford says it has many hidden cost pressures from rapid development in the area. The city of Playford has a significant financial burden to, a, to our community to ensure that we plan future communities. But still, some Elizabeth Vale residents want to switch from Playford to Salisbury and they have at least one ally. I think there should be uh, the capacity for residents and ratepayers to initiate those things. Holden's struggling Elizabeth plant would save half a million dollars a year in rates if the council boundaries were realigned slightly to take it from Playford into Salisbury. And to support Holden, Salisbury's begun an official investigation to see if that could happen as part of a possible land swap deal with Playford. We want to try and encourage as many businesses uh, to come into our area, which obviously helps create jobs. Any boundary realignments need the support of both councils and the state government. Will McDonald, Nine News.